What's happening Earthlings? This is Dan here with yet another video for shootandrag.com and today I'm going to be showing you a plugin that integrates very well with Audacity and every other kind of audio editing software that is there. It will be Premiere Pro or Logic Pro or uh, Reaper and uh, this plugin set or plugin suit uh, as I should call it is available from a company called Waves. It's called the Isotope Nectar plugin suit and it's available in like Isotope Nectar 1, Nectar 2 and Nectar 3 and they are probably coming out with Nectar 4 later this year. I have the Nectar 2 suit and I use it all the time for my voiceovers and I'm going to show you how this plugin set actually makes your voiceover editing a lot lot easier. There's a lot of functionality and the different ways this plugin is going to help your voiceover achieve that richness is really impeccable. You don't have to play around with the settings a lot. I'm not saying that Audacity inbuilt stock plugins are bad. They are really good because you have to keep in mind that Audacity is totally free. So what you're getting for free is absolutely great in terms of the quality. But then if you want to take your voiceovers to the next level and you don't want to play around with too much of uh, the Audacity stock plugins, then I think the Isotope Nectar suit uh, should uh, do a good job and uh, you can uh, grab it. It's available for around $400. But it's a nifty little plugin set that can really take your voiceovers to the next level. And you don't have to uh, play around with the settings a lot. You just hit the presets. There's a bunch of presets available inside the plugin. And those presets are going to help you achieve the desired results without having to uh, have a lot of know-how about the technical part of things. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first show you a recording that I uh, read for this demonstration purpose. I read a small piece of text from the back cover of the Dan Brown book, The Da Vinci Code, and uh, I'm going to show you how this recording sounds without any effects, absolutely raw, and then I'm going to be editing this using the Isotope Nectar suit. So let's first give this a listen. This is what it sounds like. While in Paris, Harvard symbologist Robert Langdon is awakened by a phone call in the dead of the night. The elderly curator of the Louvre has been murdered inside the museum, his body and the floor around him covered in baffling symbols, as Langdon and a gifted French cryptologist, Sophie Neveu, sort through the bizarre riddles, they are stunned to discover a trail of clues hidden in the works of Leonardo da Vinci, clues visible for all to see and yet ingeniously disguised by the painter. Alright, so that's how the recording sounds, completely raw. Uh, obviously, there's a bunch of uh, things that need to be improved here. There's some background noise and uh, there's noise coming from the computer fan that's been recorded by the microphone. So I'm going to remove that. There are breathing noises and um, this actually sounds too bass heavy to me. So I'm going to take off some of that bass and uh, add probably a little bit of high end clarity to it. Give it more air to make it sound more crisp. So let's do that. What I'm going to do is now please remember this plugin is actually going to be installed inside Audacity in exactly the same way as you would with any other Audacity stock plugin. So I'm not going to get into how you can install this. If you're interested in knowing how to use this, where to buy this from, you can uh, check out the links in the description. But um, here I'm actually going to show you how this can take your voiceovers to the next level. So without wasting any more time, we are going to first select this audio and then I'm going to go to the effects menu. And uh, from here, like there are a bunch of different options. Breath control is really fantastic. It removes all the breaths uh, without you having to uh, manually, you know, select specific portions and teaching the software what is breath and what is not breath and then, you know, going through the whole uh, nine yards of that. So um, we are first going to, I'll, I'll take care of the breath control later. First, we are going to go into the EQ section. So I'm going to take this from here and give it a few seconds to load. Now, this has a bunch of presets here, all right? Like if you're recording music, then there are options here, jazz, country, folk, and stuff like that. If you're recording voiceovers, then there's a folder here that says voiceover and dialogue, and it says audiobook, bigger, deeper, clear voiceover, home voiceover, enhancer, and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is, since this is basically uh, the stuff of audiobooks, the book that I read can probably be translated into an audiobook, so I am going to probably look for something that's related to audiobooks. Um, let's find that out. Here it is, audiobook. So I'm going to go into that and uh, then I'm going to close this. 
and I'm going to let you look at what it's actually doing to your recordings. Now, in this case, what it actually does is it actually pulls up the bass frequencies a little bit, okay? It brings down the mid a little bit, scoops out the middle part, so, uh, you know, your recording has a little bit more clarity, and it boosts the top end here a little bit without boosting it so much that uh, sibilance is an issue. And that's why you can see that here in this section, uh, the graph has been pulled down. But in my case, I am actually not going to be, uh, you know, adding more bass uh, to my stuff. So I'm actually going to roll off some of that bass. And if you want, you can keep it this way. It sounds really, really great. But uh, the voiceover that I did just now, you just listened to it. This already has a lot of bass frequencies to it. So I'm not going to add any more bass. I'm probably going to uh, roll down anything uh, maybe below 80 hertz. So I, should, I, I would probably keep it at that. Okay. And then uh, what I would be interested in is uh, removing all that background noise. Now, I have noticed while playing this that the background f uh, frequencies, you know, the background noise range hits anywhere between minus 43 and minus 42 dB. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up this slider and I'm going to go all the way up to maybe 42.7 looks good. And then I'm going to turn this on. Now, this is the DSR part of this. My voice is not terribly sibilant, but just for the purposes of demonstration, I'm going to uh, use this. So I'm going to bring it down a little bit because I don't want this to sound very dull. And then the most important thing is saturation. Now, this is one part, saturation, which is not going to be found inside Audacity stock plugins. What saturation does is it actually makes your voice sound richer without adding more uh, frequencies to it. And this is a complex process. So I'm going to keep it at whatever uh, is there by default. And uh, harmony, I don't need to get into that because this is uh, more uh, suited for singing. And uh, then I think everything looks good. And here you can see that the compressor being used here is, uh, this is basically double compression being used here. This is a parallel mode compression. And uh, they have these default settings. So I'm going to leave it to that. And then I'm going to hit the apply button. Let the changes take effect and uh, close out of this. And as you can visually see, let me stretch this out a little bit. As you can visually see that the graph already looks a lot cleaner, all right? And I'm thinking that this part here, this section here, probably has a little bit of unwanted noise. So I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm probably going to silence this out. And I'll select that. I'll go to generate silence and I'll hit okay. So that's that. And uh, let's give this a listen and let's find out how this actually sounds with the Nectar suit. While in Paris, Harvard symbologist Robert Langdon is awakened by a phone call in the dead of the night. The elderly curator of the Louvre has been murdered inside the museum, his body and the floor around him covered in baffling symbols, as Langdon and a gifted French cryptologist, Sophie Nevu, sort through the bizarre riddles, they are stunned to discover a trail of clues hidden in the works of Leonardo da Vinci, clues visible for all to see and yet ingeniously disguised by the painter. Okay, so that really sounds awesome to me. Now, as you have noticed, I didn't have to play around with a bunch of different settings. I didn't have to go to EQ, I did not have to go uh, pull up the noise gate, noise removal and all those things. Everything is there inside just one single window and uh, you can uh, play around with those settings. Now, since I have used the noise gate inside the Isotope Nectar suit, I probably don't need to use the breath control plugin separately. But if you want to do it that way, you can do it that way as well. I mean, if you're using the breath control plugin and you don't have a lot of background noise, you just want to remove the breathing sounds, then you can just hit the breath control plugin. Let me show you how that works. I'm not going to uh, apply the effect here, but I'm going to show you how that works. And you pull up this thing here and this section is actually going to, uh, you know, you can push up this slider or bring it down depending on how much you want your breaths to be reduced to. Now, if you want to remove your breaths completely, you can pull down this slider all the way down. It's going to be going to minus infinity and every breathing sound is going to be removed completely. But if you want to keep a little bit of that and make it sound a little bit more natural, then you can, you know, keep it like that, maybe minus 47, 46, something like that. And that way your breaths are not going to be sounding very uh, obtrusive and they are not going to steal the show, but some of it is going to be there and it's going to sound very natural. And you hit the apply button. The moment you hit the apply button, this thing here is going to show up a graph which basically analyzes all the breathing sounds and it's going to do all the adjustments automatically. You don't have to do anything by yourself, you know. 
analyzing the frequencies and all that, which is uh, really complicated stuff. You don't have to do any of that if you're using the breath control plugin inside Isotope Nectar Suit. So uh, that's how uh, this works. So since I have already used the noise gate, I'm not going to be using this. So I'm closing this out. Now I think you can probably hear the difference between the first one you listened to and uh, the finished product. This can really make a lot of difference, and especially the saturation part. I mean, it's not over the board. It's not going to make your voice sound like it's it belongs to someone else. This is going to make you sound like yourself, but it's going to take your voice to a new level, give it a little bit of richness, that creamy effect, and it really sounds great. And this plugin allows you to modify your voiceovers for, uh, you know, all kinds of work, audiobooks, for uh, deep voiceovers, for movie trailer voiceovers, and stuff like that. So this is a really, really great plugin, and if you're interested, you can check out the links in the description. These are not affiliate links, by the way. These are by no means affiliate links. If you want, you can go and check them out, the Isotope Nectar Suit, and uh, you can get yourself a copy and install it inside your Audacity. So uh, that's it for now, folks. I'll see you in my next one. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and if you've already subscribed, don't forget to hit the notification icon, and let me know in the comments below whether you would like to use something as automated as the Isotope Nectar Suit or you would probably prefer to stick around with the Audacity Stock plugins. Let me know that in the comments and I'll see you again in the next one. Thank you.